Hello, I just spent half of my day posting the Christmas photo shoot video. If you haven't seen it, this is how the pictures came out. They came out so iconic and it's popping up on Instagram right now. But Vlogmas has been taking up all my time. I haven't had time to work out. I haven't had time to fart. I haven't had time to breathe. But today, I have enough time to go to my workout class. Let's get sexy. I cannot do a workout unless I feel hot. Oh my God, I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Keep it together, bitch. Um, okay, I have time to go to a workout class today, which is the first time I've had in literally days. Shout out Vlogmas for taking up my entire life. But I want to put on some alpha Lee. I want to drink a Celsius. I want to feel myself. I want to go do this. Where's all my, where's my alpha Lee? Oh, in a moment. Okay, I got my clothes. I also just got confirmation that we're going on a date night tonight. I'm excited, bro. I've been doing nothing but filming all day, every day. So tonight we can finally... Do something cute, enjoy each other's company. I'll film a get ready with me. We'll get glam. It'll be a cute little moment. Oh my God, I haven't even had time to pee today. My bladder is like, bitch, let me out of here. Ugh. I need to leave this house, I'm so late. Keep it together. This little look is so hot to me. Leggings with like long white socks poking out of the blazers like hello if this isn't attractive you cannot see cheers babe today's celsius is a uh, sparkling wild berry i am not mentally prepared for this workout at all like i feel like the last time i came it got substantially harder and i'm not into it which could also explain my leave of absence if I'm being 100% honest, but like, mm, send it. Thank God for this, because without this, I would not make it to the second half, period. Yay. Let's get into it. I started with some pull-ups. These are assisted by those little bands. And then these back things that I kind of love. I also think it's funny how I sit in the chair. Did some squats, the first set of many today. Apparently I was doing this one completely wrong. Uh, it was, I did not understand this one. Sometimes these workouts, there's ones that I just, I don't literally comprehend. <laughs> so that's always fun. Then I did some box jumps. I used the middle height one since I am five foot two, so I was not about to get on the tall one. And this is a circuit workout, so we're gonna do the whole thing again and again, baby. <laughs> okay, these don't look hard, but they were so awkward. Like, the positioning was awkward. This was another awkward one that it's just like, why am I picking up the weight in such a weird-ass position? These were kind of fun. You roll on the ball. Those were actually kind of lit. Like, I was enjoying that the jump rope i'm getting better at jump roping it requires coordination not my strong suit whoa not me getting thick and then these things again these awkward ass arm things honestly i'm so glad this is a group class because i know if this was a one-on-one -on -one, me and the trainer situation i'd be complaining the whole time but since i'm there with girls my age like i'm not about to complain i'm not about to get left behind i'm not about to do less weight than everyone so i get competitive because i am a capricorn so i go in there and i'm like how do i <laughs> How do I slay? How do I do this thing? Anyways, then we did these things, which again are uncomfortable and booty band stuff. It is my least favorite in the moment, but I'm always so happy that I did it after because let's build that butt. I'm not even exaggerating. That was wildly, wildly inhumane. I am not okay. When I tell you that that workout was inhumane, like I'm not exaggerating, but I do see my abs coming through. So I guess it's all worth it, but like, what the f***? Like, did you see that? Like, I am not alive. Honey, I am so ready for this date night. You don't even understand. What'd you say? I'm so ready for this date night. You don't even understand. What's up with your lips? What? I don't know. <laughs> I literally could not tell you. You ready for this date night? So let's go date night. Yeah. Let's go freaking date night. Sometimes we post a video that's amazing and it does not get the love and that it deserves. Excuse me, did you see that? Yeah, but also... I mean, I have my own theories and stuff. This what is the theory? This isn't a vlog thing, but... He wants to keep you out of the back end of the conversation. Literally. Let him know. What's the tea? They want the real tea. First of all, for some reason, I'm thinking posting early, like 10, 11 in the morning might do better. Second of all, I think you're comparing yourself to people that... Which could also like be wrong, but I think they have more uh, young fans. 
Like you guys not. are so old. Ew. Uh, I do want to go on this date night because I have a headache from that workout. That was so intense and terrible. How long are you going to take to get ready, baby? I'll try to be as quick as I can. No, no, no. Like, that wasn't a... Uh, <laughs> that that was, wasn't a you hurry. literally did... Oh, good, 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 baby. So it's like, oh, no, I meant more like how long is it gonna take? Like, like I, I, an hour start to finish. We're probably not gonna make happy hour. If we did, oh yeah, it opens at five thirty. Okay, cool. We're gonna get a Nobu for happy hour. I don't know if Nobu happy hour is as much tea in your location as it is in Arizona, but the one here is bomb. Like it's everything's like fifty percent off for an hour. So that's when we like to go. I literally don't know what I want to wear. I'm starving. Maybe I'll do this. Okay, we're gonna keep it real nice and simple tonight. We'll do this jacket from Abercrombie. It's oversized. These black IMG pants that look like leather, but they're actually a legging, so they're super super comfy. And for the shirt, uh, the shirt that I came with, because I don't want to put in any effort today. It's <laughs> Ow. These protein shakes are kind of good. I'm not usually a protein drink type of gal, but this is kind of good. Koya protein. Koya. That was corny. I'm sorry. I look kind of busted right now. Um, but while we're on the topic of comparing ourselves to others, I'm about to spit some opinions. You might agree, you might not, but that is why it is my opinion. But with the vlog missing, I... And I always try not to compare myself to others, but it's kind of a mountain with no top because it's, and not to be pessimistic here, but it's low-key inevitable to compare yourselves to others. I mean, like, we do it instinctually so we can gauge, like, how we're doing, but it's obviously not healthy. By the way, I'm using the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty when I am feeling super dry, this is my go-to because it really gets in there and hydrates you to your core, girl. It is the rare beauty primer for me. Like, look at this cheek with the primer and look at this cheek without, like, hello. It's, like, so illuminating, wow. Okay, so with Vlogmas, I have found myself comparing myself to others with view counts, content, yada yada. And it's not a healthy thing to do, so what do we do about this? First of all, I think it's important that we recognize that comparison is bad regardless of if you think you're doing something or not. Like, it's not good to compare yourself to other people and be like, I'm hotter than her, or I got more likes than her, or whatever the case may be. So comparison is not only bad when you look at somebody else's life and lust over it, and you're like, oh my god, their life is so much better than mine. Comparison is also equally as bad when you compare yourself to other people and put yourself on a high horse and think you're so much better than the rest of the world. So that's just my first point. But the way that I deal with comparison, honestly, is gratitude. This sounds cheesy, this sounds lame, but it really is the solution. Like it will get you through this anytime. If you're sitting there scrolling on Instagram and somebody's life looks so perfect, what you're kind of doing is being ungrateful about all the blessings in your own life. At least that's how I experience it. So in these moments where I'm comparing myself, especially during vlogmas of like, why does this video have so many more views than mine? I think my video content versus content is better. <clears throat> toxic, toxic Okay, it can't be my video is better. That one has more views. That is toxic behavior shit. Okay, we need to be grateful for the blessings in our lives. Okay, that's when I'll be like, I am grateful that I get to do what I love for a living. I am grateful that I am passionate at what I do. I am grateful for my community and the comments that I get on my videos like as corny as it is. Okay, so here's the tea. I'll get on the phone with my therapist like once a week and you wanna know what we do? The first 20 to 30 minutes of every call, if I'm calling and I'm super anxious, I have a lot of worries, I'm stressed out about this, that, and the other. He goes, what were your wins this week? What are you grateful for right now? Like, and this is something we could all do right now. We could do this every day. Like it really is that simple. We could do it right now, do it right now. What are you thankful for this week? What are you, what did you, what are your wins this week? What did you do well this week? What did you do well today? What are you grateful for today? Is the sky blue today? Did you get out of bed and make yourself some bomb ass coffee? I don't know. You tell me. But we got this. Okay? Okay. That's the answer. So it might not be what you want to hear because it's super fucking cheesy and it's like some Hallmark movie lame quote. Sometimes the truth 
is not that juicy. I'm gonna use the Rem Beauty eyeshadow palette today. I love it. It's perfect for a basic bitch like myself. I genuinely don't care about what I look like for this dinner because I'm just in the mood to eat good. Like, I, I don't care. No, girl. Yes, I want to see her! Louis just got groomed. She looks like such a princess when she Whoa, gets girl, groomed. girl, come here. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. Oh! Hi! She's so fluffy. Look Hi, at Miss Blowout. Shut the f*** up! Poodly. Mm -hmm, a little poodly. She Every time she gets groomed, the poodle comes through. Hi, baby! Oh, say hi! She smells better than me. Say, do you like my new hair? Girl. I need to give her a deep conditioner. That's what she deserves. She's got better hair than all of us. Oh, I legitimately need your help. This is my problem with music, and this is why every time y'all ask me for a playlist, a uh, 12 through 30 playlist, which I'm working on, um, I'm so bad with music because what I will do is I'll find like three songs I'm into at the moment and play them until they make me want to throw up and I never want to hear them again. Like, that's my vibe. Every time I drive, I'll listen to the same three songs. Every time I work out, I'll listen to the same three songs. Three thongs, yes. But now I'm responsible for putting together a playlist for Mary Litmus party we're throwing. Um, and that's like my least, what am I trying to say? That's the thing I'm worst at. So please, please, please comment some good songs. They don't have to be Christmas themed, they can be, but like just some good booty poppin like lit, turn up, songs can be rap, pop, R&B, whatever the case may be. But if you were throwing a party at your house and you felt a little bit of pressure to make it good, as I currently feel, um, please comment songs because that has been such a stressor and I don't have the time to put something together. I am so worried about, I mean, I'm not so worried, but I'm kind of worried about this party because I've never thrown any type of party at this house. And I don't know if I'm the hostess with the mostest. Like, I truly don't. Because I have never really hosted shit. Um, so I do have some structures in place to make sure that I don't thwart. I have a bartender coming, which I feel like that avoids a lot of mishaps. Like just having a bartender, like, boom, it's already not going to suck. Then I have a chef coming and doing hors d'oeuvres. And I picked from the list of stuff that he could do yesterday. And the shit looks fire. There's like crab, king crab, avocado toast, cheesy mozzarella thing. So like food covered, bar covered. I wanted to do a DJ, but then Henny was like, that is the worst idea. Like imagine the DJ's personality is awkward. And then there's like a random DJ, like could be very much bar mitzvah vibes, which is why I need help with the playlist. But yeah, I'm feeling a little bit of pressure about this party because like, what if it's hunky dory? Who is hunky dory? Like truly, what if it's honky door? We have people flying in for this party, which just adds another layer of stress. And I'm just like, imagine the first party that I throw at my house, Mary Litmus sucks. And like, I can't have that for my social reputation. I'm kidding, but like, I'm not. Anyways, I'm gonna do this makeup off camera because it's gonna be the same makeup that I do every time. You're not gonna miss anything really. And I will spend so long talking and it'll take me double the time to do it. So one, two, three. Okay, just kidding. I decided to go with this outfit, which I have worn so many times. I have a shortage of uh, silver earrings going on. I have uh, pretty good skills in managing my personal life. Like I feel like I, get, I have my shit semi together, but when it comes to jewelry, for some reason, I cannot keep track of anything. I lose everything, so. I think we're gonna bust out the uh, no piercing look today. And I kind of went off with the eyeliner. Hold up. It's the same as every time. I told you, you didn't miss anything. It's too loud in here, but this is the most embarrassing thing about me, so I'm gonna do it in voiceover. Uh, the fact that I can't use chopsticks and we eat sushi all the time. She can use chopsticks, she just... I can't, or it, I do it wonky. I do it wonky. That's beautiful, that's perfect. Oh, I know how to use chopsticks, Never mind. <gasps> There's nothing embarrassing about me, I'm perfect. Hi, Poodle. Hi, Poodle. Hi, Poodle girl. Poodly girl. Poodly, Poodly girl. Honey is very determined to plant this cactus that 
Spencer gave us yesterday. He like ripped it off the tree and was like, here, you can take this and plant your own cactus. And he's very determined to get this cactus to grow. I'm gonna see if I can film him without him noticing. I No, this is stupid. I, we don't have enough dirt. <laughs> I was literally trying to film you without you noticing because I knew you would. No, there's just no dirt. I don't know where to put this cactus and we don't have enough dirt. But she needs somewhere to go. He's very determined. What are you, what are you <laughs> I, was, I was conspiring, I was conspiring. Hopefully you grow, little girl. Do your thing, okay? Don't get me talking to plants. Sorry. Right We're about to get a spontaneous honey haul. Let me find something that will work as a tripod because I don't know where mine is. Girls, I don't know what got into Henny this year or last year, but his style used to be, like I can speak freely, right? Yeah. <laughs> when I met Henny, his style was so bad and so was mine. Um, but he has the best style. I have him style on my really outfit. Yes, every time I don't know what I'm gonna wear, I ask you, is this thwarting? Is this thwarting? And then you put together my outfits and all the outfits that I wear that are my favorite, you have picked out. But he has really good personal style. No, I have like a general no, awareness. It's good. You're not gonna put the camera right there. You're not doing that. Okay. She was trying to put the camera on this. Hold on, hold on. My thing with shoes is that anything above $200 to me is just too much for a shoe. And this one was $200. And I was like, damn. These were not 200. Imagine they're two grand. Oh, that makes more sense. I'm like, how, how many zeros are 2,000? <laughs> the pink on the inside, hold on. No, up. but these are Jordan 1s. Those are dope. Like, li literally the outfit you're wearing right now, it's such a tragedy that you didn't know this box was outside. Cause look at your fit, like open your. Yeah, if I put this one on here with this. You got the pink and brown shirt. Oh shit. It's like the pink. Oh yeah, this is its own fit. These aren't dunks. Like these are Jordans. Low top Jordans. With the hat too, this hat's kind of fire. Yeah, the whole fit is giving. Come on. It's giving share.